Hello and good evening. This particular topic uh, we would be dealing in this video why gravitational potential energy is negative. Now in the previous video which we have seen uh, we have calculated a lot uh, regarding the values of gravitational potential and gravitational potential energy. Now we need to really know that why this minus sign comes in why gravitational potential energy is negative. I have shown in the previous video uh, there are different ways of calculating but this is just to summarize and all. Now if I want to explain it in a simple manner as we have done in the previous video that was a little bit longer one we can use this uh, formula that is PE equals to MGH right and uh, we have seen also that the change in potential energy that is denoted by delta PE equals to mg and the change in height that is delta h so in other words if i want to draw a figure say for example if i draw a graph where i want to denote this one now this is my ground level and what i'm doing is that i've got an object list over here this is my object I have explained it in the previous video just to summarize in all. I am trying to pull this object up and if I pull it up to a height of say 5 meters then what happens is that my delta H changes. So my delta PE that is the change in potential energy would be positive. Why? Because I have pulled this box or brick or whatever be the object up to 5 meters. So my delta H is positive. And that is why my change in potential energy is positive. Now what happens if I try to pull the brick down by 5 meters? So the delta H or the change in height comes to negative. And hence I can write that the change in potential energy is negative. So in other words, when we are trying to pull up an object which gains the gravitational potential uh, by moving it up, it is uh, positive. Uh, gravitation potential energy when I'm tr trying to pull things down then that means it is a negative potential energy most of the time if you see that when things are falling or if it is we are pulling it down it is negative so I can tr I can tell it that gravitational potential energy is defined as the energy per unit mass required to move an object from infinity to a point in the gravitational field of the planet of mass say M what I'm going to look forward is this that I'm going to just draw another figure which would give you a better idea so what I will do is that I will draw earth so here is our earth and this is our earth and I'll just put it as earth and this is there is a surrounding gravitational field so I put it this as the surrounding gravitational field of the earth. Now we have seen in the earlier video that when we are trying to put up a mass far away from this earth, say for example this is a mass which is M, I'm trying to put it away from the earth's gravitational field long up to infinity, long up to infinity, somewhere in space where there is no coronavirus. So this has gone long past the infinity. So when an object obviously is at infinity, the potential energy is zero and so is the kinetic energy. The potential and the kinetic energy, both of it is zero. Now when there is a force which is coming into play, now what I am doing is that this particular object has gone here and I am trying to pull back this object. Uh, so let me just uh, draw it for you this particular object is located now here at infinity we have shown earlier that why the potential energy is at infinite uh, is uh, zero at infinity because the radius comes to infinity and with this equation anything by infinity comes to zero so i am uh, when i'm trying to apply a force now what I, I will do is that i'm trying to pull this object back and back and back and back to earth's body now when what is happening is that when i am gaining a kind of an force 
which this particular mass is coming to the uh, coming to the near gravitational field of the earth obviously what is happening is that the kinetic energy is increasing because there is a velocity because there is a force and this is coming near and near to the earth and so the kinetic energy is, is gaining that it is going up what we know is that the law of conservation of energy that both kinetic energy and potential energy has to balance each other so as per the law of conservation of energy the total energy should be constant so in this case if by this force this object is coming towards the earth by gaining kinetic energy and velocity what will happen obviously the potential energy will go down so that it gets balanced gets cancelled out and the total energy in this case comes to zero so in case that the kinetic energy is being gained by pulling this object right into the gravitational field of the earth so the obviously the kinetic energy goes up and the potential energy goes down and th that is why because the potential energy goes down we get it as a negative value capital minus capital g m m by r this is another reason which we can cite that why potential energy is negative one is that when we are moving objects up and down when we are moving it down we are getting a negative potential energy due to the change in height when we have put this object far away from the earth and when we are trying to pull this object one 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 from the infinity to the earth's uh, surface the kinetic energy is being gained and the potential energy is going down in order to balance and maintain the law of conservation of energy that the both of this part should be equal that is why potential energy comes to negative so we can tell uh, from what we have shown earlier in the video just to summarize that minus gm whole divided by r that is the radius that is this is the gravitational potential so i can put it is as gravitational potential so gravitational potential multiplied by the mass of the body or the mass of m it can be 10 kilograms it can be 20 kilograms anything so minus g capital m multiplied by the mass say for example it, it is 10 kilograms whole divided by r gives us the gravitational potential energy so this is the gravitational potential energy this is the gravitational potential just to summarize and to write it in simple way if i use this then i can write it as gravitational potential equals to gravitational potential multiplied by mass of the object mass of the object so you see this is gravitational potential multiplied by m that is 10 kilogram gives you the gravitational potential energy this is just the gravitational potential so right from the top of this equation you see that if i draw this part only this is the gravitational potential and this is the gravitational potential energy so now you understand why gravitational potential energy is negative by understanding change in height and by drawing a mass which is far off from the earth as it gains the kinetic energy the potential energy decreases in order to balance the law of conservation of energy and that is why the gravitational potential and the gravitational potential energy both of them are negative just to tell you all gravitational potential which is minus gm by r multiplied by the mass of the object which we are dealing with gives you the gravitational potential and gravitational potential minus uh, multiplied by mass of the object the whole divided by r gives you the gravitational potential energy so this is a video just to make you understand about why gravitational potential energy is negative this has been cited in various examples so i thought that uh, you would be able to understand the reason thank you very much for watching the video